Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make this hello effect in After Effects. So let's get into the video. First of all, you have to make a new composition, and uh, I have inputted all my assets which I will use in this video, and I will give you a link in the comments uh, for these. And uh, if you want to make this effect, first we have to uh, like uh, ah ah. First of all, you have to make a new composition. I have uh, inputted all my files into my composition. I will give a link in the description or in the comment. Uh, to make this effect, uh, we will uh, first cut out the character. Um, first, we will input our clip like this. like this uh, to cut out the character we will duplicate this here and double click on this here and we will select this photo brush tool to cut out this character simply just drag it like the part you want you will see this pink line like this just trace it like this once uh, we'll finish this cutout so we will <clears throat> go back to the main composition and you can see this like our character is now cut out to be honest like this. now we will open this and now um, we will go to our project and we will select uh, select uh, this and scale it up and drag underneath this cutout clip so you can see it's moved behind the character scale it up make a new composition to create a background like this we will add uh, this paper texture scale it up like this and we will add this and scale it up and change its blending mode to screen and make its opacity to 50 or 40 maybe now we will search for levels and we will make our background darker like this and now we will search for Ali Abdal Poisturize Time and Turbulent Display. I will give a link in the comment for that preset. Drag and drop on the paper texture. So you can see like it's moving. Yeah, let me show. And now to rotate a background to make some rotation in our like a paper texture background. So we will <coughs> select R for rotation. Press Alt and click on this stopwatch icon. Uh, type wiggle like this uh, 1 comma 0 0.5 so you can see the rotation is going over here you can see a movement like this and now we will add this green screen drag it like scale it up Search for key light, drag and drop over here, like this. Now we will go our main composition and we will add our background layer. Like this and change its blending mode to screen like this and connect this background to like this paper texture now now we will animate this uh this texture like this paper texture this paper tear 
for that uh, like we want to end our animation over here so we'll make a keyframe on position and go a few frames backward drag it up like this and select these two keyframes and right click on that and uh, select this toggle hold keyframe and now go one frame forward drag it down again go one frame forward drag it down again so it's to be honest wait let me mute so it will look like this and we will add some rotation over here Press R for rotation, make a keyframe, press U to see all keyframes and now we will add some rotation. Like this. Make it to default. Like this. Now we will select the, this video like both of the layers, the ones, the ones cut out and the ones normal we will select both of them press P for position and like we want to make animation over here so first we have to make a keyframe and then go a few frames forward and like drag this down like this so you can see like it's look like this like this like this um, i think that this should be i think the character should go more lower like this yes good now we will add some text animation over here Uh, select this text layer and uh, type hello and scale it up align it to center scale it here and change its font I will give a link in the comment for this font like this And if you want this box animation like this, for that we have to select this uh, shape layer and make a box over here like this and drag down like this and place underneath the text like this. like this and to animate this box we have to create a new box then again click on the shape layer and this time this box will be like slightly bigger than previous one like this and again place underneath the text like this our text animation is ending over here so we make a position keyframe over here now go where now go at the starting like where text is popping out okay and make a position and now drag it to left like this like this now select uh, the first box and connect this first layer first shape layer to a second shape layer so your animation is ready like this if you think this animation is fast so you can set a keyframe according to your need like this you can give more gap in the animation it will make us smooth and slow like this 
now we will add some more text select this text here type the and scale it up and change its font to camingo code bold like this and select this move upward now we will now we have to animate this text for that go to effects panel and uh, click on this animation preset click on support files preset go to the text and select this animate in folder now you can see this spin in by character so simply drag and drop into the text like this and make its keyframe close up like this so it will animate like this and we will add some opacity over here at the starting make it to zero go one or two frame forward make it to 100 and go in the text property make this rotation one like this just look like this like this now we will again add some more text select this tag layer type effect scale it up like this again we will add the same animation over here uh, go in effect and preset uh, search for spin and by character place it over here press u to see the keyframes and move these keyframes forward or closer like this like this you can see the animation again go in text properties change its rotation from 10 to 1 now you are all set to go like this So this is how our first effect is created, you can see this, like this, if you think uh, the text is not matching, so you can change If you think the text is not matching to your need, so you can select your keyframes and place according to your need like this. Select these keyframes and place it over here like this. If you think that your text is touching to the character, so you can um, select this video and drag it down now now it won't attach to your character like this now you can see a huge gap over here so this is how our first effect is created i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want more videos like this so make sure to subscribe my channel